Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video I will be replacing my C drive with a larger capacity SSD. As you can see here my hard drive has less than 5 gigabytes left so I'll be needing a bigger hard drive. So I bought a 500 gigabyte hard drive and I'll be cloning this drive to the 500 gigabyte SSD and I'll be using the Kingwin Power Dock Plus. This dock can support two discs. And as you can see here, the two base can support two and a half inch discs or the three and a half inch discs. And one is source, one is target. And you have the eject buttons on the sides and in the back. You have an SD card reader, two USB 3.0 out, power in, USB 3.0 in, and the power switch. As I said earlier, this uh, dock can support two three and a half inch discs by opening the doors like that. And each one can support eight terabytes. And each one is labeled target and source. So make sure you know which one is which. Okay, this is my old 250 gigabyte hard drive. And I put this blue tape here just to differentiate it from the new one. They look very similar in the front. So the only way to tell is to turn it over and look at the capacity. That's the only way you'll be able to tell. So just to make sure I put the blue tape on there and this is the new 500 gigabyte SSD. I bought the same uh, brand and model since I've, I've had good luck with this one and it works really good so the only thing is the 250 is a little bit too small now so now it's going to be 500 gigabytes. Now that we have the discs in the, in the correct base we can now plug in the power cord and that's all we need. This does not need to be connected to your computer during the disc clone. In fact, you should be connecting this to your computer during the disc cloning process. So we're just gonna turn that on. And as you can see in the front, uh, you get the power light on and the two red light meaning that the two discs are recognized and now we are going to be ready to clone the discs and all you have to do is press the clone button for five seconds all right so this is where I made a mistake by not putting my thumb on the entire button and as you can see here it just tilted to the side and it did not complete the cloning process. See how it's stuck on its side? So now we're gonna have to start the process again. So just make sure that if you have this dock or if you're gonna be buying this, make sure that you press the button completely. Have your thumb over the button completely, press it and wait for five seconds and you'll start to see the LEDs flash and that's when the cloning process has started. And by the way, you don't need to format the disk before you start the cloning process. Just take it out of the box, put it in the correct bay, and clone away. That's it. And when you see the LEDs flashing like this, that means the process has started and when it's 25%, the 25% light will be solid red and each one will turn solid when it's complete when it's completely done. And I just sped this up so that we're not going to be here for 20 minutes watching this blink. Now this is what it looks like when it's 25% done. It took about five minutes 
and we're gonna be approaching 50% soon and then maybe 75% and the whole process took about 20 minutes uh, maybe it'll be slower for larger hard drives as you can see here the 75% light is lit so we are almost done when the 100% light is steady and not blinking you can eject the discs now that we're done we're going to be removing the discs and actually this is what it looks like when it's 100% complete so just turn it off and let's eject the, the disk and let's put this in the computer uh, when you first turn on your computer with this hard drive installed or at least in my case it took a long time to boot up and when i finally logged in uh, it rebooted itself again so if you're going to be doing something like this just wait and let your computer do its thing and as you can see here the hard drive is back to what it seems like the original size and it's pretty much full again so what the hell happened to the rest of the disk all right now we're gonna have to open up disk management and see what's going on and as you can see here i have two disks disk 0 and disk 1 disk 0 is the primary drive that's the c drive and as you can see here the rest of the space is unallocated all right so we need to delete the recovery partition to expand the c drive so in order to delete that you have to open up the command prompt uh, make sure you right click and run as administrator and the steps are here Okay, so it's a disk part and if you've never used this before um, you might want to consult with someone or just follow this exactly the way it looks here and if you only have one disk in your computer then it's so much easier to do and since you still have your old hard drive you just cloned from if you screw this up you're fine and you won't be able to delete the the primary partition anyway because windows won't let you so it, nothing should go wrong here so just follow this and if you do this correctly you'll see that you'll be able to reclaim the unallocated space and you'll have a larger hard drive okay let's take a look now that the recovery partition is deleted we can now recover the unallocated space Okay, all you have to do now is right click on the C partition. And then you're going to select extend volume. and the extend volume wizard should appear and it's pretty much next next and finish from here on in unless you want to customize the space that you want but since i want the whole disk i'm just gonna do next next and finish this way i can have as much space as i want And as you can see, now the C drive has now been extended, so I have a lot bigger size uh, C drive. 